he tried to fight this yeah. he tried to fight Canelo the same way he fought Uskateki, but honestly that's the that's the only style he has. He's not the type of fighter that he need, if he needs to be in a brawl, he'll stand there and have a shootout because he doesn't have the power. You know, um I think that's something that you really need to beat Canelo power. You know, he was throwing he was throwing the combinations, he was having success throwing the combinations. And that's what I took away from that. But you know, I feel like if Canelo don't respect your power, he's just gonna he's just gonna walk you down and he's eventually gonna land a shot. Now you said to face Kyron Davis, who had a draw with Anthony Dorail, a common opponent that you fought before. You are ranked number one on the WBC. So will the winner of this fight be mandated to fight Canelo? I don't know. We just have to wait and see. You know, this fight was supposed to be a WBC and IBF title eliminator, and it's not no more. So, I mean, like I said, I just got to keep doing what I'm doing, keep winning these fights, keep looking impressive, and we'll see what happens. I mean, I think my, my spot still stands because my last fight was a WBC title eliminator. So we got to see what happens. So either way, that shouldn't make a difference of you being the mandatory for Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, my spot is already there, so we'll see what happens, man. But um, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. Things could change always. I mean, I feel like I, I deserve this spot. You know, I've worked hard. I worked for that spot. So I definitely should be the, the next one to fight Canelo. You had history with Usategi. I believe you sparred him before. i seen photos with you and him sparring. So how was that work with him? And when was that, if you could remember? Well, the last time I worked with him, I was about 19 years old, and it was in Big Bear, California. And, you know, um, that's why I was so confident, and I knew it was going to happen. You know, I knew I was going to stop him because, you know, just from the sparrings, you know, I got the best of him in the sparring sessions. And I think we only had two sparring sessions, so I knew he was dangerous. I knew he had power, but, you know, I, um, my skills are better than his. And, you know, just um, just the, overall, the way the, the sparring was going, that's why I was so confident coming into this fight. And that's probably why... He decided to take steroids himself because, you know, he remembers the sparring session. But, um, yeah. Dialing back to the Usategi situation, that's a fight that a lot of people was looking forward to because, obviously, you're a dangerous fighter. It's hard to secure the big names for you. This was a big fight. That being said, a lot of fighters have recently tested positive for PEDs. As a fighter, in your opinion, uh, what can be done to prevent cheating in the sport of boxing since fighter's life is on the line? Well, just the same thing, the same VADA protocols. I feel like, you know, the, the way they're doing it is really good. I feel like they caught Uska taking on surprise because we had two drug tests before this, and then we had a third one this week. So, I mean, I just the same the same way they keep doing it. You know, I think they're doing, a, you know, they're doing an excellent job catching this. And, you know, um, I think if, people, if somebody has to, you know, that just says a lot about me and, how everything everybody sees me too i mean if somebody says i'm such an easy fighter why is somebody taking steroids to try to uh enhance their game to beat me you know i feel like he's making really good money it's really you know ibf wbc title eliminator was really big um it's a big opportunity you know what i mean and he just tried to pull a fast one and get over and you know do the best thing to uh to try in his head thinking that that was going to secure him a victory but like I said, man, like even with him having being on steroids, being on EPOs, I don't think any of that would have saved him anyways. Do you think the punishment is fair? Have they have they came out with what the punishment that they're going to give him? Is that... uh, not really, but usually if they do punish a fighter, it's no more than six months. Um, I think it should be more than six months for, for steroids. I think it should be maybe a year or something like that. But, you know, just so, so people learn the lesson, you know, steroids, that's, that, that stuff is nothing to play with. You know, you're putting somebody's life at danger. I mean, if you want to go and get stamina or you want to get power, go and get it the hard way. I mean, you don't have to do shortcuts and, you know, take steroids. But I definitely do feel that the punishment, the, the severity is not enough, that they, they, have to, they have to go a little bit further. And speaking of Canelo, what was your take on Canelo turning down a three-fight deal for a lot of money, which would have included you? PBC. Like Canelo, he doesn't want to be um he doesn't want anybody to tell him what to do. I feel like he wants to be the boss. So if he wants to fight with Daz in one fight, then PBC one fight, and then maybe with whoever else is left top rank or whatever, I think that's what he's more interested in doing. I feel like it, uh, the contract with the three fight deal with PBC made a lot of sense, but I feel like he just at the end of the day he just wants to be the boss and he wants to be in charge of everything and he doesn't want to be stuck down to one promotion. On the show, though, with you and Mike Tyson, uh, Triple C had asked Canelo, what's your thoughts on Benavidez? He responded with, 
he's a dangerous fighter. Is that the reason you believe, you know, he got you last on his hit list? I, yeah, I feel like everybody everybody knows, man. Everybody is, everybody is it's not a secret. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's not a secret anymore. Everybody, everybody, everybody knows everybody. I'm a dangerous fighter, and everybody knows that, you know, I'm – I don't come to play, you know, and they have to be extremely ready for me. Um, you know, I'm hungry. I work extremely hard and, you know, I'm a devastating puncher. So I feel like everybody knows, but I feel like out of the whole bunch of the 168 pounders, I feel like if Canelo is putting anybody out, you know, for a while, it's, it's going to be me because I am the most dangerous fighter. But after this, you know, after it gets through Caleb plan, I feel like there's going to be no more fighters. So that was, that was a good position. So I'll, I'll def, I think I'm sure I'm going to be next in line, you know, because people have been calling for it. I'm ranked number one in the WBC, so I mean, it has to happen. Yeah, and um, Canelo is fighting four times next year, according to him. Canelo got to stop picking his own opponents, man. We got yeah. to, he needs to be able to cello the, the yeah. both of them. He needs to fight to both of them. Charlo's brothers. He, Charlo, needs, yeah. he needs to fight both of them. <laughs> then fight that guy, Benavidez. Benavidez, though. Fight both of them. He got to get ready for Benavidez. He's going to fight those two brothers, then he fight Benavidez. Man, if I was him, I'd